Hello, Dan. All right, so we've got some video for you here. Thanks a lot for uh, letting me take a look at your swing and working with you. Uh, you uh, you know you have a beautiful swing. Of course, you have a great game right now. A lot of people would uh, give their left arm to be able to play the way you play right now. But, um, you know, I can identify a few things that might help move you to the next level. Um, and uh, they're going to be like an iterative process in terms of fixing them, but I'll point them out here in this video after I've studied it for a while and um, I found some things that uh, that uh, we that you could work on that we could work on together if you want. And um, and uh, but otherwise, I mean, you have uh, some really really nice things about your swing, and that's obviously why you play so well. So let's go through here. This is the uh, caddy view and the down the line view of uh before we started when we when we first got there and uh, I'll just play through these and we'll just watch them in super slow mo here pretty nice that's the caddy view and then this is down the line All right, so let's analyze a little here. Start out with this caddy view. First, I'm going to uh, put a little um, cage around you here to uh, see how we do in terms of keeping the body steady as it moves through the swing. The first thing that you do, as you can see, is you move back just a little bit and this head your head turns but this is not bad at all this is this is I mean there's much worse than this and as you can see that what, what I look at the most here let me just move this in forget about that one on the right but this one on the left watching your I mean on your right hip on the left of the screen that's the most important. You see, your hip does turn there, and your body weight moves forward a little prematurely, I think. It's sort of like you're starting right in there, and you haven't even come close to the top of the swing. It's almost like a reverse pivot, not quite, but, but then you do. Your body does move forward here nicely. But, of course, we have that thing, that issue with the hands coming over the top, which I'll show you from the back. But this is, this is right there. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at your head. It's coming right back to where it was when it started. That's the key. And you've been able to do that through repetition. You, you start there, you move off, and then you come right back to there. So this position right here is just beautiful. Your knees are back flexed into the... Um, into the position they were at address, which is back here. Actually, they're flexed even a little bit more. I love this at the top. Your left knee is bent. Your right knee is straight. That's great. And then right in here, that's a great. That's great flex again. Great flexion again. You're coming down here now. One thing that we're going to talk about is maybe we got to. I think we're losing some power here by staying down too long. See how far uh, you're staying down here. At this point, the really powerful players, they start pushing up at this point. And I'll show you some drill. You see, here's where you start pushing up, you see, right there. But the ball's already gone. But we're starting right here, right here, that's a beautiful position. That should be where your weight starts shifting up again. You start pressing up against the ground. And you see, because you don't do that, because you're coming straight through and staying staying crouched down like that, that's why, see that left arm bending here? That's why that happens, is that your body, it's an automatic response from your body trying to keep the club from crashing into the ground to bend that uh, left arm. See how bent it is there. And your right arm is even bent at this point, so that's because you haven't you haven't uh, gotten out of the flexion enough. 
So your flexion should, at this point, you should start extending more. And you do that by pushing your hips forward and, and, uh, and using the ground to push off the ground like you're doing here, but it's too late. So we've got to change. Remember, I work on kinematic sequence, sequencing a lot, and that's one thing in your swing that could really, really make a big difference would be to start that lifting up process back there. And I'll show you how that, how that could affect your swing and your contact. Um, this is nice. You keep your head down still, but those arms bending like that, you're losing a lot of power there. Okay? So, and of course, this at impact, see, see how your hands flip over here? At impact, we go like this, like this, like this. So, instead of having that, uh, you know, instead of, you're, you're actually flipped over at this point, instead of having a straight line, like for instance, at address position, look at your address position, see? So, and then, but then when you get back to impact, it's, I don't have the actual impact frame, but you can tell that it's in the process of flipping, flipping your hands there at impact, okay? So that's what we're going to work on right there. I'll get rid of all that stuff. Now let's look over here at the down the line view. Down the line view, first we'll uh, we'll draw a little circle around your head just to see if in fact, whoops, if in fact you're um, raising up at all. And then let's do some uh, spine work here and see. Okay, so now this is good. See, so your head. See how it moves back a little bit there? So you, that means your whole weight is moving back a little bit there. And then it stays back. And that's where you're crouched down, see? You're crouched. And at this point, you should be coming back up again. But you don't. And that's why you have to compensate for it by bending your arms on the through swing. But the, your... Um, the uh, inclination of your body stays pretty much the same, which is great. That's great. I would like to see that this, this knee straighten out a little bit more. It would allow your hips to turn more. And that's what's going to get those arms up. Remember that we would like the arms to be sort of at a at a uh, perpendicular, uh, um, yeah, perpendicular line to your uh, shoulders. This is where your shoulders are. And yet, where your arm really is, is down here. So, but then, this is the move where you come up here and then see those hands. Let's just draw this here. Let's just draw this. We'll, we'll put a, uh, we'll put a little circle here. Right at the butt of the club. And one here. And then one there, and one there. Well, you can see what's happening. You can see what's going to happen here. <laughs> it moves over here, and then here, and then here. So, that's the way your club goes. Look at that. Like that. So, you draw a pencil line here that. That's the movement of your hands. And so, you're coming up on a different plane that you're going down on. Now, this one that you're going down on is pretty nice because we like to look at the club being parallel to the forearm here. And that actually works. You come from the inside anyway. That one you actually hit a little bit to the right. But, but all of that is good. But this move here, right here, is a tough one to repeat. So, in my philosophy, it would be better if we just went, so it, your backswing would look something like this. You'd go straight up, and then you'd come straight down. So straight up, 
straight down, straight up, straight down. And even actually a little bit, you could be a little bit higher. Although you get close to so you get close to having this uh, arm parallel to your shoulders after you make this move, but you can see it right there. Look at that. So it would be better to just come straight up, straight down. So that's what I was trying to show you. Okay. So um, another way to look at this is to um, draw a couple lines up from um, the... club straight up through here, straight up through the club, that goes right through your waist, it's a little bit high, but, and then this one will draw through the shoulders, now that should be the wedge in which the club and your hand stay, and as you can see, this thing starts out way low down here, now it finally gets up into that wedge, but then it comes back down a different line, so you can see a tremendous difference in the way you take it back and then the way you come down you see that that loop at the top is that's tough that's tough so I'd prefer to get it so that we go straight back straight down and um, that'll make a big difference that'll make a big difference okay so there's just a couple little tiny things that um, to, to work on so let me show you this what happens here when we did the uh, when we did the drill um, here, we did the drill, I taught you the drill, and that where you put your weight on the left side, and, um, get that out of the way, put your weight on the left side, and right here, we want to lean your hands forward, and your weight forward, there you go. All right, you really got this down. I hope you've been practicing this because this is going to make a huge difference for you. Okay, so compared to your normal dress position, of course, your weight is transferred uh, on the, onto the left um, uh, leg, and your hands are well, well forward of where the ball is. The ball is a little bit forward. I told you to move it a little bit forward in your stance. You had it back pretty far here. This is it. A classic way to flip the club is to have the ball too far forward or too far back in your stance. So watch this now. This is the drill. So you're, uh, we're not talking about swinging this way. We're talking about feeling the impact position. So your weight's still on the left, still on your left side. Almost all of your weight, 90% of your weight. And look at that. Look at this. That's impact. Now look, it hits the ball first, and then the ground, the divots in front of the ball. That's perfect impact. Perfect impact. Look at your hands are leading through. Now, I do have a uh, still that I'll show you, that I'll put in, that, let me just, sh oops, never mind. Let me get to try this. Okay, hold on a second. Mm, okay, that's a still of the actual impact position right there. I can't draw on this, but I did pull this frame out of the slow-mo video. That's what your impact looked like, the actual frame of impact. Um, so that's like beautiful. Let me show you on the other one how that works. So um, in this case, we come straight down. Look at that. Straight down. Now if you draw a line between your eyes and the club, notice how far out your hands are. Let me go, go back one here. Draw a line between your eyes and the club. See how far in front your hands are. Now, we go over to the way it used to be before you learned the drill. And if we draw this line now, you can see that your hands are on a line in between because your head has moved back so much. You do keep your hands on a line in between. But this line here goes like that as opposed to like that. Now there's a big difference in power right there. Right? Look at this. This is this is this is nice right here. It's beautiful. Your hands are in front of the um, club head and the ball's already gone. So remember if we looked at that if we look at the actual um, 
picture of impact, which is right, oops, which is right there. Try this again here, there, which is right there. That's beautiful. Your hand's way in front of the line of uh, sight in between you and the ball. And even a kind of a reverse type of flip there, which is perfect. That's perfect. So, so that made a big difference. This You've really got that drill down nice. And in addition, in addition, we worked on keeping it that way throughout the swing so so that um, at from here if you look to the club your hands are in front next frame your club your hands are in front next frame look to the club your hands are still now on the line that's beautiful see so you're not taking any chances of flipping there at this point now they get slightly behind so but this is all beautiful. Remember that picture of Ben that I showed you that uh, where um, he is, his arms are straight, the club is pointed at the target. Look at this. That's pretty darn good. You really got that drill down. So you practice that drill. That's going to be that's going to be just key for you. Okay. And um, okay, so the drill is great. The other thing I wanted to show you was that when we use that. Uh, when we use the stick, the uh, the orange whip, I'll just play through this a couple of times uh, here, the orange whip, um, hold on, move this to the center here a little bit, there we go. This was the other thing we were going to, we were trying to work on is that thing at, the, at that move at the top. And I told you you could do that. You could fix that move at the top by moving your hips first. The orange whip, look at that. See, that's that's key. And look at how nice that, that impact is there. So that's really key is that at the, at, when you get to the very top of your swing here, the first move that you make is with the hips going laterally forward, not necessarily turning, but look at that lateral movement. And see how that just pulls everything right back down the same line that it went up? Look at that. Great. And that does make a big difference in how you get the impact. Look at impact here. Oops, come on. Look at that. That's swinging at full speed, so... By making that lateral movement of the hips as your first move, and then start turning, that really helps you keep those hands out in front of the ball. That's going to make a huge difference from this in terms of power. Look at the difference here. Look at that. Who would you rather be? See, and this also has you lifting up. See? You're lifting up earlier. You're pushing off the ground earlier to make that whip uh, swing properly. That's a great training aid for you, by the way. So see the difference here? So you're pushing up. This is what I was talking about. You're pushing up before, right before you get the impact from, from like here. Now you're coming up. Whereas here, look how long it takes you before you start coming up. So that's a great, uh, that's also a great drill. Now let's look at down the line, too, in terms of that little drill that we were doing. Oh yeah, this is the drill from down the line. Mm -hmm. It's a little short drill. They wait on the left. Oops. Okay. Here we go. So look at that. See how your hands uh, now when you when you do this short swing. There's no movement of those hands in any kind of a circular manner. You come back down, right down the same plane. You go up. Makes for really beautiful contact. Contact the ball first, then the ground. Look at that. That's great contact. And uh, we said, wow, after this shot, because it was really nice. Okay. Beautiful. So 
that drill. Very helpful. All right, so then we talked about going over the top here. And uh, this was the, uh, I was suggesting to do this kind of a move. That was a little high. The first one was a little high. But here, there. Look at that position at the top. Right there. That is beautiful. See how much this is making your back leg straighten out. Let me bring in the um, the uh, initial one over here. This is the initial swing that we recorded. Initial swing. That's where you started. That's where you started right there. Look at the difference here. I mean, that is... See how much more bent your left leg is here when you stay down like this, as opposed to this. This is turning your hips. Look at your look at how much more your hips have turned here. That's that translates into power, man, right there. That's a big difference in your shoulder turn here. And your shoulder. Look how perfectly your shoulder is aligned um, with the uh, angle of your spine. Look at that. Look at this. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful position as opposed to this, which is cattywampus to what your spine is. Okay. This is this is everything's in balance here. Uh, it's like, you know, the equinox. <laughs> Everything is aligned properly right there. And this 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 almost straight back leg versus this kind of a thing. This is really a beautiful position. So that's the one that I encourage you to practice several times getting into prior to swinging. And um, and what happens then when you do swing, I'll show you, is uh, this one here. Sorry, wait. That's beautiful. I think at that point I said, oh, my work here is done, you know. So um, <laughs> so all of this is getting to the point where, first of all, we're working for three things. Number one is we want to get to a proper position at the top of the backswing without making a circle. Now, you still, you're still doing a little bit this kind of a baseball move here, but this is much, much better. And look at that. Look at that position versus that position. Look at it. All right. So I wouldn't mind you straightening out this leg a little bit more so that those hips turn a little bit more. and You'll get a better uh, shoulder turn. And uh, that'll make a difference. That'll make a difference. These, if your shoulders were turned a little bit more, that club would be pointed out a little bit more this way, which would be great, make it easier to come back down. But what a difference here, huh? This is great, and look at how look at how that sort of forces you to come. There's still a little bit of looping there, but mostly you're coming right back down the same uh, line. Way better than here. Way better than when we started. Right? I mean, that's just a big difference here. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, that's a transformation right there. All right, so then we get into impact position. Here you can see you have you have a much less tendency to flip the club here. 
it's hard to tell without seeing the frames in between. But but the next thing I would want to work on with you is is to start is to start transferring the weight to start lifting up, pushing off the ground at this point, so that you didn't have any tendency to bend those arms on the through swing. But that's really pretty there. See how much higher your hands are coming out here than they are here. This is more of a circular swing. Excellent. Finish pretty much the same. All right. So that's it. Now we did uh, go back and um, put this at the top here. Just want to uh, take a still here of this uh, of the position at the top. I'm just going to take a still of this so I can use it. All right. So um, the other thing we did go back and I did shoot one last shot of you. Oops. Uh, one last picture of you from the front. Uh, and after after we worked on the backswing and that whole issue and I did want to show you that did he did kind of everything I like the bump of the hips here this is all looking good that that takes place when you get the club to the right place at the top but you still have a tendency just a little bit to flip but it's not nearly as bad as it was in that first shot remember that first shot was it was really flipped but this is great contact you see you do hit the ball first and then the uh and then the ground. And this was a great shot. This last one we left at. And uh, but there still is just this tiny little tendency to get the club coming in front of the hands. Not too bad. So definitely not as bad as it was when we started. And the left arm is now staying straighter as it comes through, but still it's bending a little bit. And that has to do with starting to push up. This is a great position right here. And then. From there, we need to be starting to push up a little bit so that you're not worried about that. I've got a drill to show you for that, too. But otherwise, there were some uh, major changes, major improvements there that I saw. I hope you do, too. And I hope they're working out and you're continuing to use that drill. And uh, so mm, we'll talk some more. Nice work, by the way. Nice work. Okay. See you later. Bye.